Well, what else is there left to do now? Just the three main quests, pretty much. Yeah, this one just goes on naturally. Triss? So, pretty much, we just go save Triss. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm wondering about this part of the map here still. I think we can get in. Somehow. But uh, before we do that, apparently there might have been something I missed before we went into the city. I saw a few comments about something being near the Order of the Flaming Rose, so I'm gonna see if I can go find that first. So, when we first came down from the hills, we went straight this way, towards the guards, but it seems that... Yeah, we can go this way too. Okay. Where does this go? Medallion's telling me something. Whoa! Wow, that just materialized out of... Nothing! Oh my god. Hold on. Oh! Whoa! Two? This is not good. We gotta get out of here. Oh, they look a little bit different. The shell. This one has like a pinecone shell. Oh! There's not much room for me to evade around here. Oh, don't! Don't! Oh, Ericus! The Ericus armor is really good for ingredient crafting, or uh, armor crafting, right? So I guess this is a good thing that we ran into them. Kinda scary that they... They spawned with me in between. What the heck? Ericus Trophy. Vitality 25, damage 3 to 4. Duh. What was the other one that we got earlier? Yeah, this one has quite a bit of damage. I do like the vitality we have right now, though. <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't gonna use that, then I'm not gonna use the Ericus one. Ooh, holy crap, a lot of people died here. A caravan? Well, it looks like the caravan probably got done in by the... The Ericus's... Eric... Erikai? <laughs> Daithwin. Oh, this is pretty... What?! Damage dealt to gargoyles, plus 25%, and large monsters. <laughs> Probably should have upgraded this one, huh? I forgot which one was better, though. The one I have right now, at its basic form, or this one? Ah, oh, Would have been very useful if I found it earlier. What a shame. Can't be bothered to upgrade it now. Oh, even the... Ox? It's not a horse, even the animal was here. Dang, this whole caravan just got screwed over. It's a dead end? That's it? I guess so. Oh, maybe they were like on the mountain? Oh, they- yeah, they fell. You can see the- wait. Oh, that's a- that's a raven or like a crow. They fell from here, and then they crashed, and then... Ericus. That's... that's life. Oh, if we go back up there, could we find anything? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe we were supposed to notice the wheel and then maybe look down. Oh? Oh, there's more here. Oh. What the? This looks scary. Let's, uh, let's take a swallow potion. <laughs> and do our one talent while we can. So this is done. This is done. No. Yes. On this side. Mmm. Uridin traps joined together. Vitality plus another 50 would make me a lot more durable. Heliotrope. Heliotrope. If we could reach that, that would be pretty cool. I don't know if we can though. Because I get the feeling we're kind of close to the end right now with saving Triss and all. Actually, would saving Triss be the last one that we have to do? I don't know. Whoops! Forgot that we had to drink a swallow potion. It's the whole reason why we sat down to begin with. Mm -hmm. In regards to saving Triss or going after Anais with Roach... I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pick... Ooh, there it is. Pretty sure I'm gonna pick saving Triss, but uh, it's not like saving Anais doesn't have benefits for myself either, because I still believe that she's the one who could help me out. 
and clarify with everybody that I'm not really the Kingslayer. But since she has Roach, and I'm confident in Roach too, that's why I feel like, hey, maybe I can do something else and Roach will be okay still. Oh! No room here. It's the one hitting these guys. Wow, one hitting these guys now. Remember back in the beginning, in the outskirts of Flotsam? They were... they were pretty much pummeling me. Oh no, who's that? Nilf Guardian. Yeah, definitely. Nilf Guardian, <laughs> just gonna take his pants when he's dead. Sure, why not? <laughs> what we got is better though. Oh. How big is this place? Kind of big. Not sure what's at the end. Maybe not too much. Sorry. Sorry. Just passing through. If you were all peaceful, I wouldn't attack any of you. Another person. Of unknown origins. Not necessarily Nilfgaard. Is that a shadow? This looks kind of scary. Oh. Whoa. What the? Where are we? Oh! Oh, I guess we're on the other side of the... Oh, where is this? Oh, my favorite. Get out of here. Maybe this is what I was supposed to find earlier, if I... Have we...? I feel like this is really close to where we've been normally, but I don't recognize it at all. It's probably right behind the Order people, but where would you go in from there? Oh, oh is this related to the place that I took that person? The babysitter? the heck? Birds? Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. But I can also walk around here, right? Oh! I can just get back into the city like this? Really? Let me walk around here first. Right? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's from a dead person. Wait, what? White Shroud, did it say? Did I activate something? Oh. Contains information about the Winter Shrine, which enhances the art sign. Oh, the Winter Shrine. We read about the summer one before. Midwinter, the day of winter solstice. The days grow longer. According to the elves, mid. <laughs> this marks the beginning of a new cycle. The sun gradually gains power, and all things beneath it are born once again. Winter shrines erected on this day celebrate the revival of light and life, but also honor the winter, as death and resurrection are two sides of the same coin. Magic connected to death and cold is particularly strong near winter shrines, and witches can use them to prolong frosts and destroy crops. Even witchers bow before the shrines to honor winter and increase the intensity of their signs. Oh, maybe that's what we just activated. I couldn't see it because of the item pop-up thingy, but maybe it said Winter Shroud? Hmm. And we can... we can look here, but we can't really get past any further. And look at this place. Oh, that's a... that's a city wall, right? Yeah, this place was really magnificent back in the day. But it's kind of a shame. Everybody just left here, and they never bothered maintaining it. Oh, whoa. Where the heck... Can I go back up here? No. So I could've like, secretly came into the city? Oh, this is the area where we fought the guy, right? It is, yeah. We're back here again. Huh. Oh. 
Might as well take that. Well, I guess with nothing else to do in our quest list, would it be time to finally go back to Triss? We did come here for her, and I feel like we've kind of forgotten about it because we've been too obsessed with literally everything else, including fighting gargoyles and solving random rune rooms. Oh, but speaking of the rune rooms... Going somewhere. Very sorry. Very sorry. I'm Temerian. I'm Temerian, guys. Sorry. We didn't solve the one that was in Philippa Eilhart's room's second floor? Yeah, the one with the candles and all. She had a book? She had a book about it. Which we can't read. Oh, by the way, the guy... The guy, uh, let me... He translated the thing, right? Can I read it now? Oh, I still can't? Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> oh. I guess without knowing much else, we can just keep going forward now then. Let's go visit the Nilf Guardians. Time for us to talk to Shelard, maybe. It's you. It is. Gonna get all the signs we can before that though, Witcher. because God knows, talking to Nilfgaard probably means some type of fight breaking out. Oh, but what about the sewers? The sewers were locked. I guess there's not much else we can do about that for now. The Nilf Guardians were... Where were they? Over here? Yes. Look who's here. The Rivian Witcher. Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? <laughs> Triss Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Whoa! Oh my god! Uh, lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. This seems exceptionally... One false move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Epmatson's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you Marigold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words, you will. Unless you release me, it's not too late. You're boring me. Pick up the pace. Why do you care for that sorceress so much? Go. Are you in love with her? A poor choice, even for you. That cuts no ice with me. I would have to agree that this is a very rash decision, though. I did not come here expecting this. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renoir! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. Do they want it that bad? <laughs> but Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Mm. Orders from the capital. Welp, that's now great. I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! I thought we were maybe gonna scout out the place a little bit first, but we just immediately. Well, maybe we've waited too long. Yes, that's how I'll see it. We have been trying to find Triss for so long, and now that we have a lead, we gotta just take advantage of it immediately. Oh God, this guy trying to shoot me from a distance. The shield guy is the biggest problem here. For Nilfgaard! Oh, oh, oh. Even with the Swallow Potion, I'm a little bit... Why is that guy not attacking me? I don't know, but... For Nilfgaard! Oh. Defeat the Nilfgaardians and find the place where Triss is kept. 
Ambassador Shilard fits Esterlin's second letter to the Emperor. We read the first one. Yes, at the Kedweni camp. To His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Emir Var Emres. Private and confidential. Your Imperial Majesty, after visiting Foltest, may he rest in peace. As planned, I am now the guest of Hensolt, who I aim to present your Imperial Majesty's offer. Kedwin is a quarrelsome nation with an unreliable king and wild nobility. Sympathies and allegiances shift time and again. Manipulating them takes no real skill. I note that Renald Epmatson has also taken up station in the barbarous north. I would take this occasion to express my doubt that sending him was necessary. Your Imperial Majesty knows that I do not trust the man, and you were right not to trust him because he killed you, and suspect he is hiding something from me. Your Imperial Majesty's ever faithful servant, Sheilar Fitz Esterlin. What was the first letter about? Can we get a review here? You know, this one talks about the sorcerer Van Hemmar and his apprentice Cynthia. Not related at all. Don't come. Well, we've officially made ourselves an enemy of the Nilf Guardians. Very, very rashly. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, this is, um. Whoa. I didn't appreciate Geralt doing this, but I guess that's just how he is. Nilf Guardian Harpy. Pretty good, but not good enough. Valuable figurine. A trinket, not a junk. Oh, it is a junk, but it's also a trinket. Oh no! No, my weight! Oh, it's the iron ores, get rid of them! It's the... Gargoyle hearts are kind of heavy too. Yeah, I, I guess so, because they're kind of made of stone. Let's drop a whole bunch of the... Yeah. Don't pick up anything else, okay? And those guys there, I think they're getting ready to kill me too. Nope. Ow, wow! Nice shot. Can I not get up? Okay, well, if I can't get up, I'm not gonna let you hit me either. <laughs> Do we just wanna go straight here? Or, cause I saw a place here too, below. And I don't know how often we're gonna get to visit the Nilfgaardian camp, especially because we pulled something like this. So I do want to check and see if we can come here first. Nope, it's locked. As expected. Use? Oh, the torch. Oh, Geralt. We should probably take the swallow potion again. You have been attacked. Meditation interrupted. From where? The gate's closed. There must be another way in. Key required. That guy's still shooting at me from like 10 miles away? Come on, hold on, guy. Let's take a rook potion, too. Maybe now we'll be allowed to go up the stairs. Yeah. While that guy's shooting me! For Nilfgaard! Yes. Yes. Nope, I guess we can't loot them. We can't loot them anyway! We have too much weight. Here. Whoa. Long live the Emperor! Not here to, you know, not actually here about your Emperor, but I would really appreciate it if you gave Triss back. Jump again? Whoa! Yeah, we've made a lot of enemies here, haven't we? <laughs> Very smart. Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Oh, can I not? 
Long live the Emperor! Did I get him? One of them? No, I don't think I got him. The Imperial Army's ranks are endless! Okay, which means I gotta really be careful here because, yeah, they keep coming and coming. Never use this. Ooh! Taste our steel. Gotta get rid of them quickly too. Hey guys, come to the the trap here. Set it up just for you. Taste our steel. Fire in the water still works. Ooh, maybe not for long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not looking good. Really not good. You're a stubborn beast, Nordling. Oh no! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! That's the wrong sword, Geralt. I want to try using the traps and whatever, too. Though I'm not sure how well it'll work. The that guy. Imperial army's ranks are yeah. endless. Ow. As long as we get them in the back, it's fine. Taste our steel. I can just do that here too. You're a stubborn beast, Nordling. Die, dog! This is why I upgraded my swords earlier. Ooh! Oh! Oh my! Stop swinging! <laughs> swinging too much! Die, Nordling! Oh, that's it? Where is the commander? Did he run away? Silver ring. What are these silver rings and iron rings? Is that a sign of a Nilf Guardian or something? It's just junk. I mean, it's worth a little bit, but... No, no, forget about this. We can't even wear rings anymore. Why did they take that away anyway? I like that about The Witcher 1. <laughs> Showing people rings to show off your authority. No, we gotta get rid of some of this... Oh, the armor. Should've put that back in the... in. Let's throw away some junk. Yes, this is junk. It also doesn't weigh too much though, so not really my big problem here. We gotta get the iron ores. Ugh, there's too many. I'm pretty sure I have a lot back at the inn already, so it's fine. Let's go. Oh! What was that? Superb Nilfgaardian boots? Yeah, okay, forget it. Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. <laughs> Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? You amaze me. Why don't you just let her go instead of questioning this? This is none of his business. We don't need... What? Let's just say we're close. I knew it. You're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise. But you don't know everything about her. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. I mean, I... yeah. I think we know that already. How do you know that? From the best possible source. Wait. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! Wait, can you be a little bit more specific about what you meant? Because are you implying that Triss knew? Not just knew, but was a part of planning 
Foltest's death. Not just Foltest, but the death of all the other kings too. Is that what you're saying? Because sorceresses plotting against kings is not news to me. But if you're talking about Foltest specifically, that is a bit concerning. Shame to the Empire! Shield bearers, forward! God. Die, Nordling! Everybody, get out of here! Yeah, keep burning! These shield guys are really annoying. I don't like them. I uh, gotta wash my health a little bit first. We got the. Die, we'll save that guy for last. Nordling! Oh, my vigor is not coming back because of my Quen. Hmm. Okay. Let me just kite them a little bit while I wait for my health and vigor to come back. These guys are difficult. Hit me. Do something so that I can get behind you. Die, Nordling! When there's two of them, it makes it really hard. There we go. One-on-one? -on -one? Maybe I can do this. No, I gotta get behind him. Like that. Emperor, I failed you. Man, I kind of killed all the Nilf Guardians by myself here. Triss's prison key, Nilf Guardian camp key. Reynold F. Madsen's letter. Armor of Vicover Vicovero? Oh my god, it's better than what I have right now, even after all the enchantments. <gasps> Geralt's maximum load plus 45. Okay, we have to wear it immediately. Yes, because we're getting a little heavy here. Wait, the Nilfgaardian Emperor's letter to Reynold F. Madsen. Private and confidential. I agree with the conclusions of your reports. Fitz Esterlin has failed, and we cannot allow his ineptitude to foil my plans. I hereby authorize you to resolve this problem by any means you deem fit, should such a need arise. V.E. V.E.? We know it's Emir, but why V? Well, they were planning on getting rid of Shilard anyway. Hmm. We will worry about enchantments once we go outside, or maybe I can do it right now? Do I have any? Armor 2? Magic wrap? Sure, stick it on. <laughs> Armor 2? Studded leather? Do I have a better one? Maybe? No... I guess it's okay. Yeah, we can put this one on. Fine. Now we can take all of this, and our weight will still be okay, huh? <laughs> no, no. This is the way out? We unlocked it. Ah! Yes, this goes back. But we gotta release Triss. Where is Triss? Fitz Esterlin, third letter. To His Imperial Majesty. Your Imperial Majesty! As your Imperial Majesty foresaw, my negotiations with Henselt proved an uphill battle. He rejected your Imperial Majesty's proposition. Furthermore, I believe the so-called Lodge will soon cease to serve our aims. Oh. For now, the headstrong sorceresses are mitigated by the actions of Witcher Geralt. But in my opinion, he knows too much already, and will need to be eliminated soon. Upon the conclusion of the summit in Loch Muin, I will immediately inform your Imperial Majesty of the summit's results and of the circumstances of the Witcher's death. So the one kind of weird thing, which... I mean, I guess that's just the way it is, is uh... The Emperor of Nilfgaard didn't come to the summit himself. He just sent a whole bunch of people. Why? Because he's scared he'll die? That's a very real possibility, since nobody likes Nilfgaard anyway. Gauntlets, mine's probably better. It's fine. 
We will have to talk to Triss ourselves when we see her. Was she really a part of Volta's dying? Triss. Oh my god. They've been torturing her. Geralt? Didn't expect to see me. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. Oh? When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Couldn't you ask your friends from the Lodge? Oh. <laughs> How do you know of the Lodge? I just do. Listen, Triss, to come here for you, I had to split up with Vernon. Tamaria is in danger of disintegrating. Are you sorry you chose to come here? No, I'm not. But freeing you from Shillard's grasp was not my only reason for coming here. I need you to explain your role in this mess. And to explain why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. <laughs> the actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Do I believe you or do I not believe you? Ah, this is hard because you you really didn't tell me about all those things. I don't know. I guess I should believe her because... If she wasn't with me, she wouldn't have been traveling with me either, right? Although, if you think about it, she was traveling with me partially because her position at the court, at the Temerian court, was already threatened to begin with. <laughs> so maybe it was kind of like a, eh, well, we'll just go along with him, or... Okay, fine. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philippa's not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. Without consulting you? I'm still a little bit wary because the Nilfgaardian guy was saying earlier that you knew all, you knew about all of this and like what if you're just lying to me? No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Stennis is the young prince. Good thing we just read that earlier. Demavend is his dad, who is now killed. Well, I guess so. Stennis is pretty young, right? I'd choose the same if I were her. Demavend didn't have a network of spies anywhere near as good as Hensholtz or Radovitz. Nor could he count on the loyalty of such men as our dear Vernon Roach. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. 
When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. Oh. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. That is true. Yeah, we did see that part. But... But... Remember how Triss and Philippa was communicating back then? But you just said that Philippa didn't invite you to the meetings anymore. So you were spying on Sheila, but you were talking to Philippa at the same time. And you're saying that Philippa and Sheila are both prominent members of the Lodge who planned the whole thing. So now I'm pretty confused. Pity I didn't know about that? <laughs> what? Wait, what's the difference? Why didn't you tell me? Is this more like passive aggressive? Sure. <laughs> if only I'd learned that, everything could have been different. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything? I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edurn. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Saskia. What? Why are we talking about Saskia suddenly? Wait, who's Ashira? Who is Ashira? One of the sorceresses? Who had full test assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavent's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. And of course, you had nothing to do with it. Entirely. Right? I don't know about this. Although I I can say that if Triss had the same voice actress as she did in Witcher 1, I would not believe a single word she's saying here. <laughs> Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvith? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. Hmm. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Very smart, Philippa. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We Literal that witch happening. hunt. 
I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go, then. I want to say you should have revealed it earlier, but... Yeah, we pretty much never talked to you again after the whole Megascope business. The last thing we knew about you was that you were checking out Sheila's Megascope. Oh. Oh yeah, I killed everybody here. Right, forgot where we were for a second. Triss? Those Nilf Guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all? They didn't slaughter themselves. No, they, they were here like this. This is how I found them. Yeah, <laughs> I slaughtered every single person in the camp. That doesn't seem too good. Oh, can we go this way now? Since we got the key from that guy? No, we still can't. I don't know if... Natalis would be glad to hear that Triss is here. Triss is supposed to be on the on the council for Temeria, so she should be at the meeting because of that. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. The Lodge remembers too. Rest assured I won't let anyone compress me again. Some of the sorceresses will be surprised to see you. Watch them closely. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. <laughs> now our next thing is talk to Triss. Ah, uh, well, we can do our point. Sure. I was gonna say that right before we left... ...to Maria... Even back then, Triss was already losing her position because people were saying, Oh, she's associated with the Kingslayer, me. Get rid of her. Blah, blah, blah. Heliotrope. I don't know what it does. Let's try it out. Ooh, we have two talents. All resistances plus 20%. Sign damage, 3%. Sure. Okay. Now we know where Triss Marigold is. I wonder if that quest... Like, how would it have turned out if we didn't go rescue Triss? Because if it wasn't for me, who else would go rescue her? Like, nobody? <laughs> how did it go with Roach? Yeah, how did it go with Roach? I guess we can just continue on and go to the amphitheater. But before that... Oh crap, I killed everybody. Does anybody know? Don't look suspicious. Bear, crow, summit, why? I want to see whether... Oh, yeah, look at that. Greetings! Kedwenny's. How did it go with Roach? I can't tell because he's not here and I don't know where he is. Maybe we'll talk to Natalis? Like, how else would I find out? Is anybody around here? Cats! Cats are always around here. Guessing you don't have too much. You've wasted enough of my time. It's you! Roach is... I'm assuming if he was successful, he would bring <coughs> Anais back to Natalis, but I don't see Roach or Anais here. Oh no. Oh no. Where is everybody? Renewald? Guided by loyalty to the same power, Renuald followed the orders he had received and sent Shelard to the beyond without blinking an eye. Yet the Witcher made sure that Matson embarked upon the same journey, not long after the ambassador. Killing official ambassadors to entire states, that's really unwise. Yeah, it kind of really goes against the same line of reasoning by which I spared Henselt. And I'm pretty sure Natalis would not appreciate me having done that. Yet the Witcher foiled this plan, wrestling Triss from Nilfgaardian hands. I described the story's finale in one of my ballads, omitting the carnage Geralt wrought there. However, carnage? For his part, 
He thinks that my version, with its colorful description of a mounted pursuit of Renoald Ab Matson, a limp sorceress trundled across a saddle, is too pretentious. Oh, you mean in the Nilfgaardian camps. Witchers, no sense of licentia poetica at all. <laughs> Vernon Roach, oh, maybe we can learn it here? At Loch Muin, there they split up. Vernon left to square things with Deathmold, taking into account the determination previously displayed by the commander of Foltis' special forces. I wouldn't have bet a wooden nickel on the magician. As it turned out, my instincts were right. Oh, okay, so Deathmold, maybe he died off screen because we weren't there. Anais? No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. We haven't learned anything. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, well... If we want to learn more about what happened with Roach, I'm guessing we probably have to go to the amphitheater as well. Let's get going.